uh, because I read this in some ways, indirectly, um, as a shot at you. Uh, 888 957 9570. All of us. All of us. That's what it felt like. I'm not going to sit here and say that that's a rational thought. I don't think Farhan Zaidi went over to Susan Slusser and said, come here, I'd like to rip all the Bay Area residents who come to our games. That's not what he meant to do. I understand where he's coming from, but I thought stunning lack of awareness to say it out loud, and I can only share with you or even with him if you were sitting here, and I would, what that felt like. That, that didn't feel good for you to say this. And here is the quote for those of you who haven't heard it yet, talking about the frustration that they've had in landing free agents. Quote, I think it's a little bit of a polarizing place among players in terms of the desire to play there. I hate that he used the word there, by the way. Play there. You're here. Play here. Use the word here. Don't maybe say there. Maybe Oracle Park like, as the there. Maybe. I think I'll start over just so we get it all in, in one. Okay. I, I think. Here. Yeah, thank you. I think. I think it's a little bit of a polarizing place among players in terms of the desire to play there. This is sort of totally independent of the competitive situation. But geography, politics, whatever, when we're doing our research on free agents and we find that players aren't really that happy even coming into town for a three-game series, they're probably not going to be that excited to play there for a long time. So I think that's part of what fueled our strategy of targeting guys with Bay Area ties. That that sounds like a gigantic cop-out to me. And I'd like to see this data that he's referencing in terms of visiting players. Do they survey visiting players uh, on a scale of 1 to 10? How happy were you to play in San Francisco? Oh, I was about a 4 because I had to step over a homeless guy when I went to get my coffee on my way to the ballpark today, I have it as a three on a scale of one to ten. Is, what, what does that even mean? Is this how we're doing free agency? Are you sending out surveys to teams after they visit here uh, on a scale of one to ten? Exactly. How would you rate the food here in the ba- – is that how you'd – will you just show up with a big old bag and show everybody that you're serious? Rather, Are, are you doing this by analytics too? Feelings. You are. You're not just deciding when it's time to pull Alex Wood in the fifth. You're doing free agency by analytics? What, are you following guys around and getting data on what kind of burritos they like? Is this how you've approached? No wonder you're not getting anybody. And there aren't enough legitimate Major League players in and or from the Bay Area to fill out a competitive roster. So that in and of itself is a flawed Approach And the whole thing, Mark, to me, I don't take any offense at what he's saying because I think that there is some truth to what he's saying in terms of whether or not players want to come here, the expense, the the city. We know that Seiya Suzuki didn't want to come here because of the homelessness and the dirty nature of San Francisco. That's one guy. So I do believe that that notion is out there in some way, shape, or form. But for you to come out and, and say this, It's like going to a student who got an F on a test, and the student says, it's this damn pencil. I can't use this pencil. It's not that I didn't know the answers. I I, I can't write with this number two pencil. I got to wonder. Like, I would think that anywhere, any team would experience this repeatedly. We've heard in terms of New York, certain players. Remember even Joey Gallo. There was this whole thing. It's like, oh, gosh, that's a Right? He's not the type of guy that loves the big glitz, the limelight, and 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 can handle booing fans. And think That's, about Trey Turner. He wanted to go east, right? He wanted right? to go east. And so he went east. Right. And guys, guys played for the Los Angeles Dodgers, right? Uh, all the money, all the, the great lineup, all of it. And he was like, get me out of here. So I, I'm sure every team experiences the whole, I don't actually want to be there. So does San Francisco experience that? Of course. But you're telling me? that it's across the board enough for this quote? Like you're literally running into that with, I don't know, 75% of your conversations are people saying, yeah, that ballpark that's right on the water right, and has traditionally been filled with the greatest food 
maybe in this entire country and on the coast in California where it never snows. Beautiful weather. Yeah. That sounds awful to everyone be, because it's liberal. Right. I, I, it's liberal and the city's got a lot of homelessness and there on. are other issues. And, and I wonder, like when I hear. Aubrey Huff hit 26 home runs in this ball. Yeah. What? When I hear Come on. talk about the ballpark itself as a hitter. I can understand that, where if you look at the ballpark and you say, I don't know if I can be successful in that ballpark as a hitter, I can take that and understand it and appreciate it. But I don't know how many players, and you know, we know Seiya Suzuki didn't want to come here because of what we've talked about the city. already, yeah. the city. What other player can you think of, can you remember, can you recall, <laughs> who intimated this in any way, shape, or form? Uh, Even Aaron Judge. Well, Aaron I've, Judge said... I want to be a Yankee. He didn't say, guys, I would, you know, I would have loved to come home, but that damn city. Right. Can't, I, I don't I mean, want to be there. Like, who on earth, other than Seiya Suzuki, is even going to live in the city? Hunter Pence, who, by the way, gosh, he, he'd be a great person to throw this quote at. Hunter Pence came out here and fell in love to the point where he never going to leave. He's a Texas guy, right? He's yeah, from Texas. He's Texas. He, and, and, and here he is. He's like, oh, my gosh. Let's scooter everywhere for the rest of our lives. So as many examples of as we have of people who are like, that's not for me, we've got plenty of them who have said, yes, it is. Yeah. How many Giants have stayed here who weren't from here? Buster Posey's from Georgia. He became part of the ownership group. Now he's gone, though, now. He, well, he moved it, back. Yeah, I, yes, he moved back. Yeah. But he's going to be here a ton. He's involved with the organization. He, he, he lived and worked here for a decade. He didn't come away turned off. And he's a quiet bumpkin from Georgia. So I, I, I just, this, the whole idea that this would even be said out loud is just, I can't even process it's it. It's a gigantic cop out. It's kind of a loser mindset to me because basically what Farhan is saying without saying it is we're not getting Carlos Correa. We're not getting anybody that we want other than Mitch Hanniger, who's from here. And, you know, that's looking like a better signing as the days go by. Just the fact that, you know, you at least got somebody. He's a guy who can maybe provide some pop to the lineup. But yeah, he, when he's healthy, he's very what good What I hear player. Farhan saying in this quote is, we're not going to get anybody else that we're targeting. And the reason, it's not me, it's the city. It's the it's the political nature. It's the dirty San Francisco. Ugh. Whatever he's intimating, he's putting the blame elsewhere other than on his shoulders, which is where it belongs, in my opinion. When we're doing our research on free agents and we find that players aren't really that happy even coming into town for a three-game series, we focus on that for just a second. That's the part that I'm really scratching my head over, Mark, because are they? is there data out there where players are? Because we get surveys all the time. I recently got blood work at Quest Diagnostics. Yeah, I'm I had about a survey yeah. by the time I got home, and they got 10 out of 10. It was oh, incredible. Good job. The technician was great. It was clean. They were prompt. It was awesome. It was the best blood draw I've ever had. I love they it. They got straight 10s. Everyone gives you a survey over just about everything. Yes, they do. Do Major League Baseball players get I mean, surveyed on how they felt about coming to San Francisco? I mean, is that what we're doing? Do we chase them to the airport with brochures? Is that what we're doing? Do we need to go on Yelp and see what the, the Giants' Yelp review is from visiting players? They're at a 4.1 stars, Mark. I mean, do, do we imagine? have standings for feelings? Thank you. Hospitality was great. However, there was a man urinating outside my hotel. Yeah. We're going to give it a three and a half. Yeah. Infinite number of outcomes. I would love to play for the Giants, but uh, I saw somebody with a, a cardboard sign on my way to the ballpark, and darn it, I can't have that as a part of my purview. <laughs> Wait, Kyle, is that real? Is this Oracle Park have a Yelp rating? Yeah, Oracle Park, 24 <laughs> Willamette Plaza, four and a half stars out of 3,100 ratings. Not bad. Oh, I not would bad. Eat there. Yeah. Carlos well, Correa gave it a two, though, <laughs> unfortunately, out of five. You want to know what Aaron Judge gave way, it. Yeah, Car seriously. Has Carlos Correa ever played a game at Oracle Park? Yes. He has. Yeah, okay. The Astros, the, the Astros came, right? Yeah. When he was still there. Correct. Okay. The Twins didn't come last year, did they? I don't think the Twins Infinite are number well, of outcomes. They are, they're, they're coming this year. That's the other thing. Everybody's Aaron Judge coming. and Carlos Correa, they're all coming this year. They're all going to be here. Oh, God, pray for them. They're going to have to come to San Francisco and deal with this, this awfulness that we all experience on the daily. 
Listen, I know, and we're seeing, I get a lot of the comments. I see you. I know San Francisco has problems. Understand they trigger you more uh, than, than the thought about other cities because you don't experience the problems of other cities. Do you know how many major cities in America don't have somebody at a city council meeting screaming about homelessness? The answer is none. 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 So that's not to excuse. I'm not getting into a political conversation about San Francisco. Has it gone down in years? Is it, is it not what it used to be? I, by the way, that's a statement I think every single person thinks about everything once they get into 40s, 50s, 60s, or 70s. Everybody thinks you don't make it like they used to. Right. Everybody thinks the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Everybody thinks kids today and fills in the blank. Guess what? Those kids today you think are snot-nosed? In 50 years, they're going to think the same thing about their kids. This is a natural cycle of life, and if you're trying to Hakuna make Matata. if you're going to make the point to me that in Major League Baseball, going up against Cleveland, Minnesota, and Kansas City, that the Bay Area is now at a deficit in our conversations because of the city. Oh my God. I, I, I'm so I don't buy it. It's different for every player. I, I, correct. Do, it's do they, different for every. Do they player. hear that for some players? Sure, but like we said, there are guys who don't want to go to New York. There are guys who don't want to go to L.A. Trey Turner did not want to even. He didn't want to be in L.A. Right. And so that's I understand true anywhere. that. But and it's an individual thing. I agree with you, Mark, in terms of the blanket statement that Farhan's basically making, saying the analytics, the data that he's receiving, says that players don't want to even be here. For three games as a visiting player. By the way, another example of why Carlos Correa is not coming here. He's played five games at Oracle Park. He's yet to score a run. Oh, God. Three for 19. Well. Buck 58. Six punchies. He has one run batted in. He has one double. He hates this park. He's not coming. Oh, the, he the oh Giants, he hates the city. Now, the Giants do know how to rehab a pitcher, though, don't they? If that's the beauty, Carlos Correa comes to the Giants. He doesn't have to face Alex Cobb. True. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> who, who, by the way, based on data, is underrated. I yeah. don't know if you know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. But I, he also, actually is. According to my <laughs> sources, he really, he's miserable at, in, when he has to play here at Alex home. Alex Cobb. Thrilled on the road. Uh, yeah. But just despondent here at this, Oracle this, Park. I, this is a gut punch. This is a gut punch. I, I like you can think this this can be true you're going to say this 4 days after the winter meetings while there's all these people still out there you need players to say this do you understand that and and, and I'm I'm very quickly moving in and I know you've been in this spot already all along which is and I've been in I'll believe it when I see it you're further along where we're not going to see it right and and I I know that I'll be the last to the party if they miss out on this. By dinner tonight, they could sign two Carloses, and we'll be back in here tomorrow morning being like, Farhad, baby! <laughs> right? The, like, I, I know. I know Which this. Which two Carloses? <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> knowing Farhad, he might... <laughs> you know. Carlos, Carlos Bayerga. We're bringing him totally, out of retirement. Dude. Zambrano? Uh, yeah. Carlos Zambrano Jr., Rule 5. I mean, it's true. Correa and Rodon, who every single writer out there is like the Giants are on the final list for both of them. They could get both of them. We'll come in tomorrow, and everyone will be like, okay, everything's fine. We think it could be a good team. Here's some jerseys that we can buy. There's two players for seven or eight or nine years, and everything would be okay. But the chances of that happening feel ridiculous right now. And so for the moment, this feels like a complete gut punch that while one set of people are telling us could be Correa, could be Rodon, any minute. You're over here in the newspaper yeah, going, yeah, you know, San Francisco. What do you want me to do? It feels to me like really? this is preemptive damage control because he knows he's not getting either one. Because does, why would you does. make the comments now? I mean, it's one thing at the end of the whole process where all you signed was Mitch Hanniger, Bay Area guy, Jock Peterson, Bay Area guy. At that point... After all the free agency was over, if he made those comments, it still wouldn't be good, but at least it would feel like, okay, he he has a he has a reason whether or not you believe it, but he's saying this <sighs> preemptively before free agency is even over. This feels to me 
like he's trying to prime us all for when they don't get either of the Carloses. This is the reason why. It's a classic, it's not me, it's you. It's, it's all of you. Actually, our strategy strategy to target guys with Bay Area ties. That's so... It was a consideration. It's so Louisiana Tech. Like... That's it's definitely it's pretty small ball, yeah, small minded. Yeah. Um, all right, holiday shopping, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Brad Johnson on TikTok, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> TikTok, TikTok. Check all the boxes on your holiday shopping list. Ninety five seven The Game Shop dot com. More new items are up now and ready to rock. So get on over there. Uh, believe me, whoever gets this gift from you, they'll hug you. Ninety five seven The Game Shop dot com.